Hi, how are you? Good, how you doing? All months. I'm good. <laughs> how was that? That was so hard. <laughs> Morning. What, what are you into today? What's happening? Big bike race. Okay, how old are you? you uh, 14. <laughs> what, what, what is the plan for 100 miles in the heat? Uh, my goal is just to try to like, try to stick with the lead group off the start as long as I can, and then back off when I feel like I need to. <laughs> Stevie Bear, always try. <laughs> what, what's happening today? What are you doing? Uh, we got the High Cascades 100 mile mountain bike race today. <laughs> All right, what's your so, plan for the heat, the duration? Um, I think I'm good on duration and heat. I've actually been training in Tucson where it's like 105 degrees. It's more the actual mountain bike skills that could be the... <laughs> so this will be my second uh, mountain bike race ever. So, what's the plan today? What are you going to do? Uh, I don't know. Go as quick as we can without dying out there when it's 100 degrees. So, yeah, and surviving the dust. That's about it. So, yeah, we'll see how the day goes. But. Yeah! Another bike race. How are you doing today? I'm good. What's Had my happening? coffee. Done all the morning things. <laughs> What are like what are like the super pro morning things to do? Uh go to the bathroom, have your coffee, you. sleep terribly. <laughs> yeah. What's the goal today? Uh ride conservatively at the start actually. Uh, last year this was my first race back after three years with pandemics and kids and went out too hard and popped and didn't even know if I'd be able to finish the race. <laughs> so have fun, manage the pace, finish the hundred. It's gonna be a good day. Is it new housing? Yeah. What are you doing today? I am uh, trying to keep everybody running. Right now I'm adjusting a derail, <laughs> which doesn't want to work right. You realized you were doing this? Yeah. Oh, of course. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear that. So I <laughs> might have like signed up Wednesday. Decided uh, at the end of the Thursday, 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 Thursday night, race. Thursday morning. But yeah, it was it was good. We're gonna go ride a bike for a little bit. So. Yeah. Okay, so you, you did the Oregon 24. Yeah, I did 12 hour solo. Oh, you did 12, oh, the 12 hour Yeah, 12 hour solo. So how are you feeling? So. I'm feeling great. I'm going to go ride a bike. So you, it's gonna you, be fun. you weren't going to do this and you decided to do this No, week. I wasn't. And then I'm like, uh, I might as well. Right, so what's your plan? You should. Uh, just see how it feels. You know? Ho hoping to be in the top 10. That's it. All right, any, any uh, worry about the heat at all? Farewell. There's a stop sign. <laughs> eh, it's hot. It's dusty. It's where we live. What's your plan? Uh, try to follow Kyle as long as possible. <laughs> Again, good to see you. I'll see you at 11:30 at the finish. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's your plan for this hot 100 mile today? Uh, well, it's uh, ease into the effort. Um, try not to go, you know, too hard too soon, because at you know mile 80, it's a long day. Right, so you've won this one before. Right? Yeah. Uh, this is my third time. And what's what's challenging about this particular race? Uh, I would I would say the hardest part. Defending champion Kyle Trudeau on the line after a disgusting 6:41, making a mockery of Bend, Oregon. Yeah. I, thanks. So just cruise through. Come through here, we're gonna finish in the field, and then we're gonna party and relax. We'll have a cold towel for your neck and a mini Coke, and have just a wonderful day to guys. Um, appreciate you all. Three, two, one.
watching the race. Winners, go racers! Woo! Right on, fellas! No more crashing. No That's more. it. No more crashing allowed. Hey, see you, Mike. Keep it, keep it upright. Everybody stay upright. Watch that bridge. Okay. That was a school day. Yeah. Got my ass handed to me, but you live and learn, right? Yeah, it was a good day overall. It was okay to like mile 80 and then the wheels came off. Because it was pretty shaded up that, I felt. Then you were in the open and um, yeah. As you can tell from my accent, I'm not from the desert, right? So it took a toll, but it was good. Ready for some beers after this. <laughs> Good, but uh, a little bit harder than last year, I think. But <laughs> good. My toughest race. I think I got some heat exhaustion pretty early on, but I made it through. So that's an accomplishment. <laughs> How's it going so far, Eden? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, how'd it go out there? It was pretty good. Um, it wasn't as fast as I would like. I don't know, I wasn't feeling that good, but yeah. Yeah, so how did it come down to you? You kind of had like a rivalry with Jack, the other 14 year old? A little bit, yeah. Uh, he beat me because I stopped a couple times just because, I don't know, I don't know, it was something I ate or something, but I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that good. Woo! Nice work. How's it going, Jack? Oh, the blocks are hard. <laughs> Hi. All right, so how'd it go out there? It's, it seems like you, you won the battle of the 14 year old. Um, yeah, it was it was really good. I'd say the first, I went off way too hard. I tried to stay with the lead group. Um, the first four hours was very brutal. My stomach was not super happy, but once we got to the Tyler's climb, I was able to just kick it into gear um, and really like feel like I was racing. So yeah, overall the race was really fun. Kill it around the single speed. Right. Yes. Yeah. I was confused. It's crazy. You you've got third overall in the only women on a single speed. Yep. All right, so how do you do that? Well, it's like stupidity or like I'm drawn to simplicity, I guess. I mean, it's um, the, the single speed is the only mountain bike I own. And so I've been doing this for about five years now, just doing events on a single speed. So I've done Leadville and it's just kind of a, I guess you change your, your mindset a little bit. You know, you just focus on trying to be smooth and just turn the pedals over, not fall over and try to like maximize every little bit of movement forward. So, I don't know, about mile 55 to 70, I was definitely questioning it. <laughs> How's the plan going? Oh, it's going okay. I, uh, I let everyone go at the start, so we'll see if I see anybody again. Well done! Nice work! Nice work!
Okay. Right, so the heat, I thought would be more of a factor for you. Was that heat uh, a factor for you, or like how do you manage it? Well, a good friend of mine, Travis Macy, said, get a sock, bring your own sock, fill it with ice, and put it somewhere on your body. So I did that and I had it in my jersey and I would pull it out and rub it on my face and on my arms and I had basically a, a moist ice bag to use for 30 miles. Tom, it's hot. What do you think? It's good. It's hard. It's good. It's hot. We had a good pace for the first 50 miles and then kind of fell apart a little bit after. Thing in your face, like that close. <laughs> right, how'd it go out there, man? It was great. Had a blast. How'd you feel after doing the 24 last week? Uh, it was as expected. Physically much harder. You never really go to a dark spot in a 24 hour race, but in this race, like, oh man, this body is just like, oh my God, I'm done. So, felt horrible at one point, but then, you know, it comes around. What, what is like mentally, where, where do you go dark? Like, what's dark? Oh, just, just like, uh, legs aren't doing what I want, and then it makes you feel, uh, you know, makes you feel not with the bike not with what you're doing you're you start to think about other things uh, and then and then you slow down this is my son park how's it going out there man good 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 you Going so far, so far so good, man. Got the easy stuff out of the way. <laughs> this is a much needed stop right now, and support from the family here. So, great day. Get a full recovery, get a big one. I was chasing down second so hard. Um, I knew I had tiddlywinks in my favor, um, and I was kind of, I had a way better second half of the race than I did the first half of the race, and I knew I had about three minutes, and I was pretty sure I could pull that back on just the descent, and unfortunately I didn't at the end of the day, um, but man, that's what, that's what I was telling myself, that I was chasing so hard to try to pull back second. Oh, no. oh, I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> I actually cramped for the first time ever. That's I've never cramped riding. No, I cramped three times. It's, it's a new new experience. What brought you up here? Why you said do this one? Um, well, I retired a year ago, and I needed a goal, and I just thought this would be a really good goal. That's and and it, I heard other people talk about it and do it, and I was kind of envious that they'd all done the High Cascade 100. So that's why I did it. What was your reason? You, you talked me into it. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, let's go relax. Thank you for recording that. Sorry, what's that? I hate downhill. <laughs> I'm alive. What happened out there? Uh, everything imaginable. It was hot. It was dusty. I got a flat tire. I went through 15 water bottles and four cans of Coke. Good day, though. Number six for me. Yeah, fully rigid, so 
Uh, I mean, I love the bike, but next time I'm throwing a suspension fork on it. <laughs> Are you camping on the course too? No, no. <laughs> I wish. That should be a, cat that should be a category. <laughs> Today. Uh, yeah, I'd say I went pretty well. I was able to get the win. Um, I mean, it's always a hard day out. Uh, it, I mean, the course just really takes a toll on you, you know, 80 miles in or so. Then, you didn't seem uncomfortable to me, but I mean, <laughs> how uncomfortable are you? Uh, are you? Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like that comfortable, uncomfortable, like, right there on that line. So, I mean, I was I was going hard and I definitely wasn't com comfortable. I wasn't out for like a Sunday cruise, but um, yeah, I wasn't like red lines, but I was I was feeling the fatigue by that point. All right, what, what was your kind of your favorite part today? Uh, I mean, that, that last, uh, like some of that stuff on tiddlywinks. Um, Are you hitting those doubles? That yeah, was yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that part, I mean, I, I like, I hit a few of them, and then like, all right, I should chill. <laughs> but it, they're they're like way too much fun to to not hit. So, so yeah, that that section's always fun, and like you're 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 close to the finish, so it's, I mean, that that makes it a little better too. <laughs> you're usually pretty tired, but you gotta gotta hit some doubles. So, did you end on tied? Yeah. That's that was our hope. That was our plan. Okay, did they accept that as a, I don't know as a yet. Yes. So, so explain what happened. There. So basically, I was ahead of Heather um, up until mile 80. I wasn't really sure what my lead was, and then came into the aid station, aid station, and there she was. So then we were kind of racing down that last, you know, whatever uh, single bit of single track. And then when we got on Conklin Road, she, you know, we were kind of riding next to each other and I said, I don't want to sprint for the finish. And she said, I don't want to either. And so I don't remember which one of us suggested that we actually do this thing where we cross the finish line at the same time. And we're like, you really want to do it? Yes. And neither of us have ever done it. And so that's what we did. We took turns pulling um, on all the road coming back. And then we decided we wanted to see how many men we could catch. Um, and then came to the single track and, um, um, yeah, and hopefully we'll see what they say. <laughs> your thoughts coming into the race? I was pretty nervous because I actually haven't ridden my bike in like three weeks. Yeah, I was pretty nervous because I haven't been training this time. So how did you deal with your nerves? Uh, I was just, I just thought about other stuff as I rode. Mm -hmm. It worked out pretty well. Yeah. Nice. So uh, do you want to do more hundreds? Yes, I do. Yeah, they're really fun. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you... If in you the ask, end. I bet you if you ask most people today if they're doing uh -huh. any more hundreds, they would say no. <laughs> but ask them tomorrow and they're signing up for next year. Yeah. <laughs> Holy heck! Caleb quits! <laughs> we talked on the trail. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Okay. Alright, so you are the last rider out. I think so, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, how, how did you accomplish this, this feat? I don't know. I Honestly, it's just willpower, I think, honestly. Like, I was hurting at mile 50 and just kept pushing through. <laughs> but it was good. I really enjoyed it. The thing that got me was the technical single track, okay. and that's... We do need to make note that you are on, like, a rigid <laughs> yeah. monster gravel. Like, it's got some pretty huge nice. tires, but it is a rigid east cross. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't tell you, though. I'm just, I'm a sucker for pain. <laughs> yeah. We cannot appreciate or thank you more from the bottom of my heart for all the sponsors, everyone, my family, you guys are amazing. Um, please enjoy your weekend. We hope to see you next year. Um, I love putting on events. I love 
all the people that work here, I love how hard you guys grind to be your best and show up. And to be here when life is so busy and life is so crazy, you get a chance to get together as a community. So God bless all of you guys. Uh, thank you and have a wonderful rest of your weekend, okay? Rest up well. This was my second time. Second time doing this race? Yeah, I did it last year. How, how did it go uh, last year compared to this year? Um, last year I think it was a little bit less sandy and a little bit less hot, but maybe my memory is playing, playing tricks. Because I definitely took a nap in the dirt after last year's race too. <laughs>